Good day, McVeigh, and happy Thursday. Good morning, boys and girls. Please stand to honor our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Boys and girls, you may be seated. Okay, let's get to our birthday list for today. Happy birthday today to Shaoshan Jin in our third grade and Samuel Bassey in our second grade. Okay, the lunch for today, friends, is, hmm, let's see, you all beef hot dog. We have our grilled cheese and bagel lunch. Remember, there's no sandwich for today. Now, our Get Smart project today is by Luca Rigo. He did a project on an extinct snake. So this was a snake that lived back, back, way, way back around when the dinosaurs existed, maybe 60 million years ago, a long, long time ago. It's a Titanoboa, and he talks about how long, how big, how ferocious. How about this? They were 40 feet long, and they would eat crocodiles. Think about how long and how big a snake would have to be to eat a crocodile. Crocodiles are pretty large themselves. In fact, uh, the Titanoboa uh, is the longest snake on record ever. But again, it's extinct, so they don't live any longer. They used to live on the earth a long, long time ago, 60 million years ago. And Luke gave us a wonderful picture as well. He illustrated his work. He says it's his favorite. Uh, and so, I mean, it would have been cool to see one perhaps from a distance, uh, but I'm glad that I was not around when they were. Hmm. All right, now our mighty kind moment of the day, is gonna drum roll. Da, da, da. It's going to Brooke Castle. Brooke is a fifth grader at McVeigh, and what she did, now think about this, I want you to think very carefully. She really wanted uh, to give this holiday season. So over the summer, way back in the summer, she had a lemonade stand and she raised about $250. And then for the holidays over the break, she was able to donate, listen to this, 20 blankets, 20 coloring books, 20 packs of crayons and toys for 27 children to the hospital. And she was in the newspaper. Take, the, take a look, there's Brooke and all the things that she bought for other children with the money that she raised. Talk about mighty kind. She had a lemonade stand. She made a lot of money. And she had to make the lemonade to sell it. Then she had to set up the stand to sell it. And then she had to go outside and work to sell the lemonade. So she did all of that. She made money. She didn't keep it for herself. In fact, she saved it. She put it somewhere left it on the side for other people. And then for the holidays, she went and bought all of these things for other people. Talk about mighty kind. Wow, go Brooke, so proud of you. And boys and girls, each one of us can do something just like Brooke. Why? Because we're mighty minds. We can think of ideas. We can figure things out. And we're mighty kind, mighty minds. We can use our brains for kindness. And don't forget, boys and girls, every day is a great day to be at smart and be kind to both each other and the earth. Let's have a wonderful day.